Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahal, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we've got a new iron model to test out and compare to maybe the previous generation, uh, the Callaway Apex Pro 21, uh, new for 2021. And we're gonna compare it a little bit to the Apex Pro 19. Thomas has actually played the Apex Pro 19 in the past. Uh, so he knows, very familiar with the irons and also very excited for the Apex Pro 21. So uh, Thomas, You've got them both in your hand right now. I just want to get first impressions on what they look like uh, because it looks like they've made some pretty solid tweaks to the aesthetics of the club. Yeah, we we're very lucky. We just got this handed to us so we can create this content in time. Um, so I don't happen to have the exact same golf shaft. They're very, very close. I put the Elevate Tour 120 and the Apex Pro 19. This is a fixed head. It's the Elevate uh, VSS. 115. So it's going to be pretty, pretty close in mm -hmm. regards to a good test there. But so initially, while I'm looking at the Apex Pro 21, it just looks more blade like. Mm -hmm. It just looks sleeker. It's not as shiny. It's kind of got that kind of like, like that matte finish to, to it go, going on. Not quite as shiny as the, as the Apex 19. And it actually looks pretty, pretty different. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, they've made some kind of big changes to these models there for sure. But yeah, looking at the back, Looks like, just definitely looks like it's kind of more of a, a blade type club as opposed to the 19, which looks like it's just a little bit more kind of in the a slightly more forgiving model, essentially. Yeah, it looks like the Apex Pro 19 is more of that player's cavity. Yep. It seems like they've almost kind of gone closer to a blade shape with the Apex Pro 21. There is a little bit of a cavity still there, um, and I think that would still, and it's kind of a tweener between the cavity and then the muscle back. So. But it is, they've definitely changed quite a bit of that look. Um, and now I kind of want to see, you know, again, not a perfect test if we're going to compare them. But yep. um, the, the shots here that we can hit um, with the Apex Pro 19 and the Apex Pro 21 and maybe get your feedback on performance as well. We can really see how, you know, what Callaway has done to these irons to improve them over two years. Yeah, this Apex Pro 21 looks really good look at mm -hmm. it's it's a good looking club and as a you know it, as a better player for sure i definitely like kind of like the minor adjustments that they've made to this this model from the 19 to the 21 there too so this is some shots and take right. a look sounds good All right, well, Thomas, you've hit five with each now. Uh, five shots with the Apex Pro 19, five with the Apex Pro 21. Uh, I mean, we did, so we quickly just talked about the aesthetics of the club, and it looks like it's, I mean, almost completely different. And, you know, Callaway did kind of redo the design to it, um, where it looks like a blade, really, it does, but it mm -hmm. is still built with, uh, you know, like your AI flash face kind of technology in there. It's got the artificial intelligence face, so it's still a hot face for ball speed. But I don't know if it, I mean, did it feel that way? Because it seemed like it was more soft and kind of, uh, it almost sounded like a sort of muscle back blade more than it did like a, you know, distance iron. Yeah, one thing I noticed with Apex 19 was it just seemed sometimes a little bit clicky at times. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I just feel like it was just a, just a tad clicky. I felt like the ball was kind of jumping off the face possibly a little bit, but just subtle, just subtle, a little bit, a little bit softer. Now it's still got a little bit of that, that noise to it, but it's definitely a softer, more muted, clickier yeah. kind of sound on the on the miss hits essentially. And I didn't really miss it too much, but I just noticed sometimes when I catch it just on the toe, I just hear the kind of little, kind of tiny little kind of click. Yeah. More so with the 19 than the 21. Okay, because yeah. I mean it's interesting because this is actually the first Apex Pro with artificial intelligence in the club face, and they were still able to kind of keep that sound and muted and not have that, you know, loud. Um, you know, abrasive noise, but yep. um, in, in, it sounds like the feel was still pretty solid as well. I mean, it is a forged golf club, uh, you know, that 1025 mild carbon steel. Um, and then we look up here at the dispersion and the numbers. And I mean, now this is only 10 shots total, five each. So 
you know, take that with a grain of salt a little bit, but it's not the best sample size. But dispersion's a little bit smaller. Um, what did you think about the test between the two clubs? Well, I mean, looking at these numbers, this is kind of really kind of interesting. Now, I tried my best to try and swing at 87 mm -hmm. miles an hour with both. Who noticed with the Apex Pro 21, it was just a little bit less, now 0.4 miles an hour club speed. But we noticed the reversal with regards to both speed. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit hotter than the Apex Pro 19. We can see that I picked up a little bit more ball speed, 125.8 versus 125.6. Even though my club speed was just a tad slower with the mm -hmm. 21, so that right off the bat kind of stands out yeah. to me right off the off the bat so there as well. Maybe that's the artificial intelligence in there. Then the Apex Pro 21 is not an Apex Pro 19. Yeah, and yeah, it, it could definitely be, be that there as well. I mean, look at the spin, and we can see spin. What, what are we talking about? 50 RPMs less. Not a lot. Not <laughs> not a lot there at all. Um, but you will notice the consistency. Consistency, plus or minus 175 versus plus or minus 275. So a little bit more consistent, which is, is important. Now keep in mind, it's a small sample size. Yeah. Now we just got this to do some really quick kind of initial testing, but it's a small sample size. But jumping over that dispersion pattern, yes, it was just a tad little, little bit tighter. Went about one yard further. Carried mm -hmm. about one, one yard further, and yeah. I wasn't quite swinging quite as, as fast. Height, basically the exact same height. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it's a good. Now, I want to touch on the aesthetics because I personally like the Apex Pro 21 looking down at w a lot better than the, than the 19. And it comes down to that top line. For me, looking down at, at the top line, it just looks quite a bit sleeker looking at the Apex Pro 21 versus the, versus the 19. It actually is kind of interesting. I was kind of looking at the, at the club heads here a little bit. From heel to toe, it looks like the Apex Pro 21 has just got a little bit, a little, little bit larger. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking very, very subtle. It's hard to kind of see. But then I look at that. Then I turn around, look at this top line, and it's like, yeah, interesting. That's where it's at. Yeah, the yeah. top. It does the, seem yeah. like they really did kind of redo the whole construction of the club. I mean, yep. there's a lot different with it, but I mean, I think the goal is still the same, and I think the performance is still very similar as we saw here, right? I mean, it's you're built for kind of a. Uh, it's a player's iron built for somebody that does hit the center of the face most of the time and that would like to kind of work the ball a little bit and maybe keep you know spin rates uh, mostly down a little bit um, so stuff like that you know it's all in they're all it's kind of the same it's just that look is very different and I think what they're trying to do is reach players like you who do like that kind of more of mm -hmm. a blade type of look to the golf club yeah and then looking at kind of the sole a little bit here too you can definitely notice that the apex pro 19 is a little bit larger than the 21 there is as well looking at the two of them and then i did mention earlier the finish mm -hmm. finish on the apex pro 21. it's not that it's, shiny it's chrome. not like really really shiny if you're playing in, in the sun mm -hmm. it's going to help you out a little bit there as well if you don't wear glasses out, outside it's not quite as shiny there too but yeah, yeah it's it's kind of interesting they've, they've made a big big jump yeah uh in two years with regards to kind of technology and looks between mm -hmm. these two models. Pretty good stuff, Callaway. Not that we were surprised by that. So, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm yeah. excited because I get the chance to kind of test and kind of put my bag kind of together and work with, hey, am I going to go with the Apex Pro as my kind of longer irons? I know for sure I'm going to do blades with my, with my shorter irons, mm -hmm. probably seven through. But I was like, is it going to be the Apex Pro or is it going to be the Apex X-Forged CB? Mm -hmm. I play the X-Forged last four through six but this uh, it's yeah i think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be it's gonna you be have some testing to do. do i got some testing to do for sure between the two of them there as well so that's it's a fun time of the year to test clubs since new new models come out so yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah it's good right. stuff well we've got the stamp of approval from thomas campbell on the apex pro 21 irons if you're interested in well apex pro 19 or apex pro 21 you can stop into a second swing store or uh, stop online at secondswing.com and get in contact with one of our experts and we would be happy to help you out and get the right irons in your bag uh, and help you ultimately hit better iron shots on the golf course. So Thomas, thanks for the information and the breakdown today on the new Apex Pro 21 irons.